Hey Ice Ender fans, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing some Geometry Dash. This video is actually kind of like like a tutorial. So like normally when I make like a gaming tutorial, it's like a Minecraft one because Minecraft is my favorite game. But in this gaming tutorial, I'm just doing something different. So um, as you can see here, there are a lot of icons in Geometry Dash, like um, this cool one, or this skeleton one, or this Minecraft creeper, or whatever this is, <laughs> but I like it. Um, there are some ones which have like, um, I don't know what to call it, like a little logo here. This says melts down or a little logo that says world so how do we get these well you have to click on them and it says you have to collect all three secret coins on airborne robots but as you can see here there is not a level called airborne robots so how exactly do you get this cube Along with all the other ones with like a meltdown logo or world logo or a sub zero logo or whatever. So, to get the ones with like the literal meltdown logo, you have to actually open up Geometry Dash Meltdown. As you can see here, there is a level called Airborne Robots in this, along with some other levels like Viking Arena, the Seven Seas. And when you beat this, oh look, what? Do you get this? So after you unlock it, if you want to get it to regular geometry dash, you have to click on the settings, click here, and then save your progress. But I don't have to because I've already done it. <laughs> so um after you save your meltdown progress, you go into regular geometry dash and then load the save data for Meltdown or World or Sub-Zero or whatever and then congratulations you'll have all the icons in Meltdown, World or Sub-Zero that you've unlocked. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. By the way this is one of the coolest icons in the game according to me. <laughs>